Connie and today we are going on to a new series of paranormal books and we just finished the Laurel K. Hamilton Anita Blake's uh, Vampire Hunter series and now we are going to go on to Charlene Harris's books one of her series and let me I have got this whole page of things that I'm going to read to you about Charlene but um I'm not going to do this every video. I'm just going to do this today. So if you want to hear more about her, you'll have to come back to this video. Because this is just too much to read every single time. Alright, so about Charlene. Charlene Harris is a New York Times best-selling author who has been writing for over 30 years. She was born and raised in the Mississippi River Delta area. Though her early works consisted largely of poems about ghosts and teenage angst, she began writing plays when she attended Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee. She switched to novels a few, a few years later and achieved... My goodness, I cannot read today either or talk. And achieved publication in 1981 with Sweet and Deadly. After publishing two standalone mysteries, Harris launched the light-hearted Aurora Tea Garden books with Real Murders, the best a best-selling novel, 1990 nomination for the Agatha Awards. Harris wrote eight books in her series about a Georgia librarian. By then, Harris was feeling the call of new territory, starting with the premise of a young woman with a disability who wants to try interspecies dating. She created the Sookie Stackhouse Urban Fantasy series before there was even a genre called urban fantasy. Telepathic barmaid Sookie Stackhouse works in a bar in the fictional northern Louisiana town of Bon Temps. The first book in the series, Dead Until Dark, won the Anthony Award for Best Paperback, Paperback Mystery of 2001. Each subs subsequent book follows Sookie through adventures involving vampires, werewolves, and other supernatural creatures. The series, which ended in 2013, has been re released in over 30 languages. Sookie Stackhouse has proven to be so popular that Alan Ball, creator of the HBO television series Six Feet Under, announced he would undertake the production of a new HBO series based upon the books. He wrote and directed the pilot episode for that series, True Blood, which premiered in the September of 2008. In October 2005, the first of Harris's new mystery series about a young woman named Harper Connolly debuted with the release of Gravesight. Harper has the ability to determine the cause of death of anybody. After four novels, this series is on hiatus. Now Harris is working on a trilogy of graphic novels with Christopher Golden and artist Don Kramer, Cemetery Girl. On her own, she is writing a new series set in the small town of Midnight, Texas. Personally, Harris has been married for many years. She is the mother of three wonderful children and the grandmother of two. She lives in central Texas, and when she is not writing in her own books, she reads omnivorously. Her house is full of rescue dogs. Okay. That was kind of boring, huh? <laughs> Unless you're really interested about... Charlene. Okay, the first book we're going to talk about, and I couldn't find a ton of information about this stuff. I mean, there is stuff all over the internet, but um, just, you know, little sentences. I didn't want to drag it on too long, but this is the first book, and they've had several different covers, but these are the, the um, mainly the, the same type of covers for all 13 books. Just cute, huh? Okay, and this is Dead Until Dark. Sookie Stackhouse is a small-town cocktail waitress in a small-town Louisiana. She's quiet, keeps to herself, and doesn't get out much. Not because she's not pretty. She is. It's just that, well, Sookie has this sort of disability. She can read minds, and that doesn't make her too dateable. And then along comes Bill. He's tall, dark, handsome. And Sookie can't hear, the, hear a word he's thinking. He's exactly the type of guy she's been waiting for all her life. 
But Bill has a disability of his own. He's a vampire with a bad reputation. He hangs with a seriously creepy crowd, all suspected of, big surprise, murder. And when one of Sucky's co-workers is killed, she fears she's next. Dead until dark. And I'm sorry I do not have the books to show you. I had them all, but I sold them when I got my nook. Needed the money. <laughs> The next book, number two, is Living Dead in Dallas. I'm going to do two books a week until we're done. There's 13 books in this series. All right. So Living Dead in Dallas. Cocktail wait waitress Suki Stackhouse is having a streak of bad luck. First, her co-worker is killed, and nobody seems to care. Then she comes face to face with a beastly creature that gives her a painful and poisonous lashing. Enter the vampires, who graciously suck the poison from her veins. They light like they didn't enjoy it. The point is, they saved her life. So when one of the bloodsuckers asks for a favor, she obliges. And soon, Sookie's in Dallas, using her telepathic skills to search for a missing vampire. She's supposed to interview certain humans involved, but she makes one condition. The vampires must promise to behave and let the humans go unharmed. But that's easier said than done, and, it, and all it takes is one delicious blonde and one small mistake for things to turn deadly. Living Dead in Dallas. And it's the same kind of cover. Very cute covers. Very cute. And I had all of the hard covers of these. So that is Charlene Harris's um, Sookie Stackhouse series or better known if you guys have ever seen it true blood now true blood uh has a lot of lot of differences from the books so don't think that this is going to be just about it's based on the same characters and based on what happens in the books but there's a lot of differences so i will see you next time with books three and four bye, -bye.